At the State House Tuesday morning, an election season shot across the bow. Republican Governor Larry Hogan taking aim at the democratically controlled legislature on paid sick leave. On the first day of the legislative session, we will introduce emergency legislation, the Paid Leave Compromise Act of 2018. His new plan requires businesses with at least 25 employees to offer paid sick leave phased in over three years, plus tax incentives for smaller companies to follow suit. Last session, the legislature passed a bill that drew the line at 15 workers. Governor Hogan vetoed that measure, calling it a job killer, pushed through for all the wrong reasons. They chose to play politics, to have an election year issue to campaign on, rather than a real solution that we could all get behind. Today, the other side of the sick leave debate fired back, armed with the same arguments. Delegate Luke Klippinger, a Baltimore Democrat and co-sponsor of the vetoed bill, accused Governor Hogan of refusing to compromise, of playing politics, and of rolling out a plan that's nothing more than window dressing. That's what this is. This is all just a song and dance where the governor has decided Hey, it's an issue that polls well. Let me try and get out in front of it now. And he told reporters, Democrats also have plans for session day one. And we're going to seek to override the governor's veto. That's the first priority, and that's what we're going to be doing uh, first and foremost in, in January. In calling for a new compromise today, the governor's obviously hoping to block an override of his veto, but Democrats told us today they believe they have the votes in both chambers to do that. Live at the State House tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Kate.